Storage is becoming a, a big concern for a lot of small businesses in the past. Uh, we didn't have to worry about it as much because we could just back up things on floppy disks, but we've come a long way now. We've got Sean Walker, our resident tech expert. Thanks for joining us. You're welcome. Uh, I want to talk about storage because uh, files are huge now, and especially uh, even in home environments, we're talking about video, songs, photos, and it's not enough just to back up things on blank DVDs because I think we forget to do that kind of stuff. Uh, I want to talk about RAID, which is a uh, technology that uh, you can get for small businesses now that kind of automatically does everything. Exactly. So what RAID actually stands for is a redundant array of independent or inexpensive drives. And what it allows you to do is to take multiple independent disks and gang them together in some sort of fashion to do one of two things, either to get your data off the disks faster or to basically make it redundant so you can have information spread across multiple drives such that if one dies, you actually have it somewhere else. So as an example, uh, we've got an external drive right here. This is one from Western Digital and this is one terabyte, which I find amazing. Uh, it's two 500 gigabyte hard drives, separate ones inside. So you can actually set that up with RAID. Exactly. So what that would be is one to one, what's called RAID level one. So the drives are essentially mirrored. So whatever is on one drive is identically mirrored on the other. So if one drive dies, you have a backup. When you replace that drive and put in a new one in for the one that failed, it'll actually op automatically copy everything back over to the backup and then you're back into a redundant situation again. So RAID level one, and we'll go through some of the other numbers as well, is essentially one on one. So if you've got um, one terabyte, um, you're only getting half of that as exactly. far as storage space. But then you have the, the, uh, the safety of being able just to take that bad drive out when it crashes and stick a new one in and it'll automatically set itself up again. Exactly. So your, your megabyte cost penalty in that case is basically one to one, 50%. So, so for every um, megabyte that you have, you're, you're only getting half of that from, from because of redundancy. When you increase the amount of drives, do you get a further penalty on that? Yes, but it actually goes down. Oh. So, so in a case of five drives, if you have a five drive array, your penalty is approximately, if I remember, about 10%. Okay, so if you had like two terabytes of storage across that whole thing, then it would be 10% of that, which is roughly 200 gigabytes. Right. Instead of one terabyte or 1,000 gigabytes. Exactly. Because by having multiple drives and with compression technology, you can actually spread that data across multiple, multiple disks such that if one goes down, you have that information spread across the other four and it can rebuild that information from what's, what's still available. What kind of knowledge level do you think people have to have to make that happen? I, I know a lot of these ones, like this one here out of the box, it, it'll automatically do that for you. But you know, to start setting up multiple drives inside your, your computer, um, do you have to be pretty technical to figure that out? Ten years ago, you had to be a rocket scientist. Yeah. Now, it's, with software that's available, it's almost dead easy. Well, let's talk about some of the other uh, RAID uh, numbers. We talked about one, which is a, a mirroring, like one-to-one. Yeah. -one. There's also RAID 0. RAID 0 is no redundancy. What that does is it breaks everything down into data chunks and spreads the information across two drives. So there's no backup. But what it allows you to do is to pull the information off those two drives twice as fast because the data is actually spread across. So if you have, let's say, 10 gigs of information that you have to provide, um, you can actually take five off of each. So you're getting twice the throughput. So as far as overall storage space, what kind of penalty are you having? No penalty. Zero no penalty. At all, because there's no, there's no redundancy. There's no backup data anywhere. But it does make it faster. Yes, it makes it twice as fast. And is that a pretty easy thing to set up? Can you do that on any drive? Um, you can do it on every, every, any drive. The trick is you need a controller. You need something that understands RAID and can control those drives. Like a hardware card. You need a hardware card. Some, some devices can do it in software, but typically the best way to do it is in hardware. Um, whenever you run something in software on your computer, you're taking par part of your CPU resources away. You do it in hardware, typically your penalty is either zero or very, very small. Okay, so we, uh, we got zero, we got one, and what's an another popular number? So RAID 3 um, is, is usually bigger banks. So you have typically th at least three drives, if not five or, or up. Um, and what that does is it's spreading the data across more, more physical hard drives, more platforms. So when you spread it across more, um, you can actually, your, your bits of data, or the amount of data that you have to, to duplicate in different places is smaller, so your penalty goes down. So I believe with a five drive array, as I said before, you're only losing about 10% of your overall storage because, it, because of compression technology can spread those extra bits of data across more platforms. Your, your penalty is lower. Yeah. Um, and also you get more throughput because you're, you're pulling it off multiple places simultaneously. So it kind of gives you the best of zero and one. Exactly. 
but you have to have more hard drives to do it. And typically now you need a bigger controller because it has to have more hard drive controllers on it. So for a lot of small businesses um, that are just you know, more concerned about um, the integrity of their data and keeping backups, uh, RAID 1 would probably be the best and probably the easiest for them to figure out and manage. Definitely the easiest, that's for sure. I mean, as you said, this device allows you to set it up out of the box and you can, you can, you can they're, they're very easily available. So the technologies come, come a far, sorry, a very long way. Very cool. Thanks for joining us. You're welcome. Sean Walker, our tech expert, and uh, good information about RAID, making sure that you have your information backed up uh, in a great way.